Hi there, I guess I will be making another video on this topic. Um, I'm not sure whether it'll be the last one or not, but it seems like it will be. Um, yesterday, I believe, a one of the moderators from the, the subreddit Yandere Simulator made a post and after reading through it, I did get pretty, pretty mad. <laughs> um, the thing about it is it's not, it's not a new thing that this moderator is bringing, bringing up. It's an old thing, but it's important because of the new thing that has happened. Um, it's not so new now. Uh, on the 11th, Yandri Dev put out another blog post addressing his criticizers. I want to go over that, but first I just want to put in this clip from my previous video. After after seeing this apology, you know, I have a little bit of hope for this game, but honestly this is just one step forward. You can take one step forward and you can take a thousand steps backwards. The main theme for this video is definitely going to be apologies. Um, how much is an apology worth? And how many times can you do it before it's worth nothing at all? This blog post that Yandere Dev put out, it wasn't a thousand step back at all. It really wasn't. If anything, it was a couple of steps back. But give it context, and it's definitely a thousand steps back. Um, and it's a real shame, because that hope I once had is now gone. Um, I don't have any hope. He clearly doesn't understand what he's done wrong. And this blog post couldn't have showed that any better. When I first read through this, I didn't realise how important this post was. Which is why I hadn't addressed it at all. This post is kind of long. And I didn't want to read through all of it. But I'm going to have to end up reading through most of it. Because a lot of the things he said is really important. He begins by explaining about in his younger years he did some stupid things. And he had some he had some poor behavior, but when he was in his mid twenties, he realized that he wanted to change, and turn his life around, become a happier person, and more confident in himself. That's fine. Um, if you watched my old video, you would have known that I didn't bring up any of those stuff. Frankly, it doesn't really bother me how he was in his teenage years. He says that he was pitching the idea for Yandere Simulator on 4chan and they turned against him once they found out what kind of a person he was beforehand. And I can confirm he was not the best person back then. He, s he talks about how Yandere Simulator was discovered and he was afraid that his audience would also find out about all the stupid cringy things he did in his youth. Um, now I'm not sure how much of this, these criticisms that Yandere Dev has sat down and actually listened through or if he shut them all away. I do know that once he saw that two hour documentary, as it's called, on the, the rise and fall of Yandere Dev, he didn't watch the whole thing. He just said that he's watched a, f a bit of it and he's kind of um, scrolled through some of the videos and he's realised that this person is just talking about his embarrassing teenage years and this person is horrible and they shouldn't be listened to but in fact the only reason his teenage years were mentioned was to demonstrate that Yandere Dev is still pretty childish. Forgetting about that, let's see what he says about the so-called criticism. There are people in this world whose hobby is shaming and ridiculing other people. This is what he's saying in his blog post. Digging for dirt in other people's lives is their favourite pastime. Humiliating their victims is like a recreational activity for them. They'll go as deep as they possibly can into your personal life and look for absolutely any quote, screenshot or chat log that can be used against you. They're not doing it for any noble reason. They're just enjoying the cruelty of it. Yandere Dev is probably referring to a couple of people, but the way he's worded this, um, he could really be talking about anyone. He could be talking about me, he could be talking about that 
two hour documentary on him he could be talking about the subreddit kiwi farms um this called whatever he could really be talking about anyone which is a shame because this is clearly false information if he is talking about literally anyone who's ever criticized him these people heard about me and decided that i seemed like the type of person who would provide them with a lot of entertainment they get amused from shaming and ridiculing people, so they choose to perceive me as a shameful, ridiculous person. They judge me based on the things I said over a decade ago, keep that in mind, and use ancient chat logs and out-of-context screenshots to convince themselves that I am a cartoonish character, caricature of who I actually am. I am a human being with emotions. I am frequently put in unpleasant and stressful situations. Sometimes, and sometimes my judgement is clouded by frustration and anger. As a result, there have been times where I was being short-tempered and rude. These moments account for less than 1% of my interactions with other people. These people judge me exclusively on the 1% of regretful moments, and it validates what they want to believe. They're not interested in truth or reality, just shame and ridicule. Clearly, Yandri Dev isn't interested in the truth or reality either. He might have realised that 1% of 2 million is actually... 20,000. That's a lot of people, but I'm sure he he knows that, which is why he said less than 1%. The other truth of the matter is when he talks about people who are insulting him, he keeps mentioning the subreddit and discord. It wouldn't be a big deal if some weirdos wanted to gossip about me quietly in their little corner of the internet, but instead th they sought to colonize as many sites as possible. They created blogs about me on Tumblr, threads about me on Reddit, videos about me on YouTube. They're committed to spreading, spreading anti yandri dev propaganda as far as possible and are convincing my friends that I'm a lazy slacker or a scan artist or a paedophile or whatever they fantasize and believe in. If yandri dev cared about the truth of the matter, he'd watch that entire two hour documentary he'd watch all the other videos and he'd realize that there are maybe one or two people commenting on this stuff about how you were as a teenager or about what children you've talked to yandri dev i'm not here to spread anti yandri dev propaganda i'm here to tell people that i'm frustrated about your actions your recent actions, not something you did 10 years ago. And I'm not the only person who's concerned about this. I've watched countless videos of people who are concerned about his current actions and probably haven't even mentioned his past. Because decent people, seriously, they don't even care about that, right? Because they know people change. I don't want to say you haven't changed, but you clearly haven't changed a lot. The main reason I'm making this video is for one, to talk about poly and two, to talk about the subreddit. The subreddit here the subreddit that yandri used to be involved in yandri dev used to be involved in the subreddit and now he's not he talks about how the commenters were upset that he disabled the comments and this is not the first time he said this if you watch my last video you'll know that him talking about how he's afraid about talking about tiny build or questions about tiny build that's bullshit because he he has talked about tiny build outside of this blog uh, outside of this blog thing he has going and he's not especially said the nicest things about them either so this fear is completely ridiculous i guess in the sense that he clearly wasn't that afraid if he was going to say it in private well as private as discord gets at this point i'm not sure if the andrew dev can't handle criticism or if he just doesn't listen to it at all because this is false this this whole thing is is false information not all of the criticisms are just people talking about his past there are so many other things people talk about and he has this analogy of of a fat person trying to lose weight and they have a a candy bar once in once in a while imagine there was a time in your life where you had 500 pounds but then you went on a diet and achieved a reasonable weight now you only eat one candy bar once a month other people stalk you and take photos of you whenever you eat a candy bar. This analogy is comparing to Yandri Dev used to be a terrible person and now he's only sometimes a terrible person. Is that something to be proud of? Is that not as bad? When I was 
younger, I was, I was in my art class, year 10, so I was 15 at the time. There was this girl who sat next to me. She was very, very sweet. She was a very nice girl. Um, and I used to always tease her about being small and being thin because I was, I was small myself, but I wasn't as thin as she was. She was thin because of her bone structure, not because of eating or anything. And I used to jokingly tease her about it. And I realised that, you know, at the beginning she was laughing and it was all fun and games. And then eventually she genuinely looked hurt by something I said. And I asked her, hey, are you upset because of what I said? And she said yes. And I immediately apologised and promised her I'd never say anything even remotely similar to that ever again. And I didn't. It's been five years since then and I still haven't said anything since then. Yandridev realised he was being an, an unreasonable person in his mid-twenties, according to this. And he's being an unreasonable person, what, once a month? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Is that it? I wish it was only once a month. He doesn't apologise for being unreasonable. He doesn't apologise for losing his temper. He just says, these people are exposing me for my past. These people are horrible to me. These people find enjoyment in spreading anti-Yandarudev propaganda. If you check subreddits or Discord, servers operated by people who strongly dislike me. I'm trying my gosh darn best not to be angry about this, but I really can't help it. When you read this, what has been going on? You'll see how completely blown out proportion this all is. Reddit is filled with people who dislike him, apparently. Or at least are operated by people who dislike him. Why would people who dislike him leave posts like this up? Say something kind about Yandri Dev or Yandri Simulator. In defense of Yandri Dev. Is there a place where we can talk to Yandri Dev anymore? They still release blog posts and videos by Yandri Dev. They always give him the first spot. There is a bot dedicated to giving Yandri Dev a voice in the subreddit. They, they, they have a link to his YouTube channel directly to his YouTube YouTube channel. They have a link to his Twitter account directly to his Twitter account. These are people that hate him, by the way. They have a link to his blog. They're giving him the biggest voice on this Reddit, on this subreddit, yet they apparently hate him. And he just says how these people are so horrible to him and how he's such a victim. And he's saying how great the fans that don't care about the rumours are and who are ignoring the rumours. Listen, if there are rumours about you on the internet, I advise you not to ignore them. I advise you to address them directly and pick them the heck apart. If there are flaws in the rumours, you will be able to say what are and aren't flaws very easily. You'd be able to disprove that information. He talks about the kind of people who he has to deal with and he's saying how he doesn't know how much of his fan base do actually support him. He complains about how people are going to unofficial subreddits and unofficial discords and how he's going to start a new subreddit. My next course of action will probably be to set up an official subreddit for the game, followed by getting back to work on Yandri Simulator. I apologise for everything I've done that made the situation turn out badly as it has. And what he thinks he's done, by the way, is to not talk about Tiny Build. That's what he thinks his mistake was. He thinks his mistake was to not talk about Tiny Build. Of all things that he's done wrong, that's the thing that stood out to him the most. You know what, I wouldn't complain about him making a new subreddit if it wasn't for a couple of facts. One, that the current one used to be somewhat official till he abandoned them. Secondly, the main reason for him abandoning them seems to be that they don't want to censor people complaining about him anymore. By the way, not spreading rumours about him, not people who are spreading drama or people who are, have genuine complaints and concerns about him or people who have genuine criticisms about him they don't want to censor them anymore and Yandri Dev was pretty upset about that 
So obviously when he makes this new subreddit, he's going to be sent from people who are like that. And this image he has of the current subreddit, that it's some kind of horrible place filled with people who hate him, that is that is so much misinformation right there. Um, I read out the pro Yandri dev posts on there. Yeah, there are posts mocking him in a meme way, but honestly, it's at this point they're kind of deserved. <laughs> Memes about this are very, very much deserved. He has not listened to anything that anyone has been saying for more than a few hours, maybe a few minutes, maybe. The third reason why I'm complaining that Yandri Dev is going to make another Reddit is something I'm going to explain right now. Something and the main thing that has made me make this video. And also one of the main things that that is bo boiling my blood right now. Um, this post, what has been going on, which is on the Yandere Simulator subreddit, this one right here, has been written by one of the moderators on the subreddit called Madeline Nolan 1995. Um, they've been a mod on the subreddit for quite a while now and they've been getting uh, a little bit of backlash from the Yandri, Yandri dev fans so you know show them some appreciation for standing up for themselves standing up for the subreddit and the people here and allowing people to express their opinion and allowing people to express themselves on whatever drama there is or isn't going on with Yandri simulator on the subreddit um, so yeah, definitely show some appreciation for them, if you can, because honestly, they deserve everything. So they made this post, um, there's also a Google document link to it, I'll put both of them in the description, I'll put as many links as I can in the description, um, but they're just basically explaining what's been happening, um, in the, in this blog post you can see right at the end that Yandru Deb is going to make an official subreddit so this is what's happening from their perspective okay we're going to be 100% honest with you about what we have been dealing with for the past few months since you know Alex can do it and try and throw us under the bus we have not had any direct contact with Alex in a few weeks we have been trying to keep everything about the game however that has not been working the drama rule, at least now in its current form, was not implemented because we are being paid by Alex. Boy, I wish we were. It's for our sanity. We did not want the sub to burn itself down, and the amount of rep repetitive posts were hard to sort through, to say the least. We wanted to keep the subreddit as neutral as a neutral place because it was the official sub, as far as we were aware. However, this is no longer the case. Due to the fact that Alex, Alex has severed ties with us as the official subreddit, we have decided to nullify Rule 9. We understand that we are going back and forth on this rule and we apologise for this. However, in light of recent events, we are done with it. It is too vague and protected Alex from criticism for a while, and our attempt to fix it seems to have failed. If you don't know what Rule 9 is, it's basically... Um, if a post is based around scandal or recent drama, um, they will remove it because they're drama based. But if they're, say for example, memes or something, they won't remove it because it's expressing your opinion. Um, which is, it's kind of complicated. I understand what they meant about it's really vague and can just be used to protect Alex, which is basically Yandri Dev. Um, Yandri Dev's real name is Alex Ma Mahan, but I'll just refer to him as Yandri Dev because he believes that anyone who calls him Alex is a troll. Right, so that's rule nine and they've gotten rid of it. DPG, DPG9 on here, went out of their way and spoke to Alex on the request of a user. DPG never asked a user to talk to Alex. This conversation went on for a approximately two hours to get him to come back so the fans would not be disappointed. 
They took a day out of their time and Alex agreed to not to make a new subreddit. Now he has spat in their face and decided that allowing us people to express their opinion is not okay. The last time we had any contacts with Alex directly was 23 days ago. That's almost a month ago now. When he decided that he did not like my comment on his post, Maddie Nolan. Um, so this ensued. Sorry for not having full screenshots. I only have a few what I took. These messages went on for about an hour as he tried to get us to delete my comment, explaining our side and that it was defamation. After this incident, he has not contacted us once. We are hearing everything at the same time as you and we do not appreciate him wanting to reopen his official sub after we bent over backwards to make this a two-way street. We are here for you, the fans, not for Alex. We do not tolerate being thrown under the bus again. If he thinks he can run a Discord subreddit, we invite him to. However, we are not going anywhere. We won't sell out and we want to hear from you. What do you think about this? Do you feel Alex is in the right? Additionally, you will be staying with will you be staying with us or will you be going with him? There are no hard feelings from us either way. If you decide to leave, that's fine, but you will always be welcome back with open arms. Edit. Some people have brought into the into question my past on Kiwi, which is completely understandable. I have been open about my postings on there since I joined, and have never tried to hide anything. I apologised to Alex back in February as some of my Kiwi, some of my posts on Kiwi Kiwi Farms, may have been insensitive. However, that doesn't seem to have mattered in the long run. I just wanted to make that link easier to find, so I don't have to copy and paste it as much. And then this is um, DPG Nine stance on the matter, which I'm not going to look through. Like I said, all the all the um, links are going to be in the description, so I do advise you to look through all of this. This video is, is really long as it is already, so I'm, I'm not going to be able to go through the whole thing. So all of this stemmed from Alex abandoned the subreddit because of a few things. And this is the main, this is the main thing. Um, it's a little hard to understand, but once you've read through it a couple of times, everything kind of pieces together really, really smoothly. Um, he's titled it, Interested in Hearing My Side. This is his defence. This is his so-called apology, by the way. I know this is absolutely futile. The people who hate me will always hate me and nothing I say will ever change their mind, but I feel like writing this anyway. If Yandu Dev ever watches this, which I doubt he will, I'd like to say that there's there's always a time to apologise. There's, there's always enough you can do to say sorry, but you know, that loses its value over time. The amount of times you have to say sorry, the amount of mistakes you make and how you say sorry is very, very important. You haven't said sorry in your blog post. You've said that you made a mistake and, and that mistake wasn't any of these things. The mistake was not talking about Tiny Build when everyone knows the mistake was, was so much more than that. There is a way to say sorry and people don't hate you because of what you did. They hate you because of what you haven't done. What you haven't done is taken responsibility and, and acted as an adult in the situation. And honestly, and honestly, I'm not sure you can. I'm not sure you're capable of acting as an adult anymore. He left the Discord server and the mods tried to get him back because one of the users were, were upset about it. His, his response to someone saying that he said the entire Discord server was toxic. Um, this was a month ago, by the way. Not 10 years ago, but a month ago. Now that's not what happened. There was a Discord server. Most of the people there were cool, but some people in the server were extremely obnoxious and disrespectful. It was a few bad apples spoil the brunch type of situation. Eventually I got sick of it and left. A month later someone asked me why I left and I said there were too many toxic people in the server. Somehow this got twisted into Yandere said Yandere Dev said that the entire server is filled with toxic people. Okay, think about this. He said he left 4chan because the people there were... They kept bringing up his past, right? 4chan. Everyone loved the idea of the game. Um, they were having fantastic threads, but people realised about his past, right? Slowly the focus of the thread stopped being about my current project and started being about my former self. Do you see how he never says? There was a few people on 4chan who brought up his past. Do you see how he never says that? Or how he says that a couple of people were talking about this. No, he says the focus of the threads stopped being about his current project and started being about his former self. And now look what he says about the subreddit. 
he says that if you check the subreddits or discords servers they're operated by people who strongly dislike me then you will see a lot of people shredding me to pieces because the people operating the subreddits slash servers love seeing it and when you actually go to there there is seriously hardly anything slandering him if if many I understand there are there are definitely a few, but does this does this look like a hateful server to you? People sending fan art, people posting a couple of memes, links to all of Yandri Dev's stuff. So do you honestly believe this? <sighs> to be perfectly honest, I can't remember my exact wording. If my choice of words implied the entire service is toxic instead of there are some people who are toxic, then that was a mistake. A bunch of people messaged me about this and I clarified the meaning of my words to every single one of them. Okay, like I was saying, he clearly worded himself enough that a bunch of people had to contact him. At some point I made a sort of remark about cockroaches. As I recall, I didn't say that every single person on the entire server were cockroaches, just a handful of toxic people ruining it. Just the handful of toxic people ruining it. Again, it's possible that the confusion was caused by my exact choice of words. Alright, so there's not really an apology here either. Huh. This, this, this theme of there not really being any genuine apologies continues, by the way. Yandri Dev told a fan to kill himself. No, that's not what happened. There was an extremely upset person in the Discord server, I'll call them Person X. They left a very, very poor impression on me. Every interaction I had with them left me feeling absolutely convinced that they were completely without worth or value, and that they only made the world a worse place with their continued existence. Eventually someone sent me a private message asking for my opinion on Person X and asking me if I'd speak with them. I wanted to make it extremely clear that I had absolutely zero interest in t talking to Person X, so I said something along the lines of, the world would be a better place if Person X was dead. I don't make a habit of trash talking about others and I don't usually speak that way, but I wanted to express that there was zero chance of a dialogue between me and that repulsive person. I never actually spoke to them directly and told them to kill themselves though. So what he's saying is, I didn't tell a person to kill themselves, I just said they'd be better off dead without an apology. <laughs> okay, look, I sound like such an idiot now because I'm I'm so angry about this, but I don't care about Yandri Dev. Okay, I care about his fan base and how young they are and how impressionable they are and how much they look up to him and honestly it's really sad it's really sad that he talks to them like this uh, like just so you know i'm not i'm not crying or anything i'm just uh, like shaking with anger um this is, this is really frustrating i'm not i'm not the kind of person that just kicks kids aside and says that oh i don't like kids no i I genuinely hope that kids have a decent life um, because they're the people that um, are left to take care of the world after the adults leave. They're important and honestly they should be treated de decently. So I don't care what this kid did at the end of the day. If they weren't banned they clearly weren't that bad. So for Yandri Dev to just <laughs> say they'd be better off dead is disgusting to be honest with you. Okay, so what I gather from this is after this whole thing went down and after Yandri Dev left the Discord server in a fit, after Yandri Dev left the Discord server in a fit um, and after people were complaining um, and one of the mods on the subreddit wanted to talk to him, he decided that the best thing for him to do was to buy the subreddit and the Discord. So he responds to this as, yeah, of course I did. Of course I tried to buy the subreddit and the discord. Imagine the following scenario. I, I really fucking hate his scenarios, by the way. <laughs> They're infuriating. I don't know why he can't just talk like a normal person for a little while. Instead of with all these analogies, these shitty analogies. You know a guy who owns a fireworks store? He recently hired a known arsonist. You know exactly what's going to happen in the near future. 
the arsonist is going to start a fire and blow up the entire store. It's inevitable. You speak to the guy who owns the firework store. <laughs> He's basically just call calling the, the moderators incompetent. That they are incapable of running the subreddit by themselves. This is basically what happened. It pays me to say it, but I've completely lost faith in the administrator of this subreddit. I know that his poor management was going to send this place into a complete nosedive, and I was completely willing to pay him money out of my own pocket just to salvage the subreddit and the Discord. The office still stands, and always will. I really enjoyed interacting with the fans here while it lasted, but I have a feeling that the quality of this subreddit is going down is going to drop sharply from here on out, so it's unlikely that I will spend any time here from now on. I'll probably make my own subreddit at some point in, in near the future. If you're looking for a drama-free Discord, check out mine. If you see it set to private, then come back in a few hours. It'll be set to public. There was an update on April the 26th. Hey again. I've got an update from the information above. Yandru Dev said the entire server was toxic. I checked my chat logs and looked for the exact wording I used when I described the server. Indeed, my choice of words implied that I thought the majority of users were toxic, just as I said. Instead of implying that there were a few bad apples spoiling the whole server. You mean like how you said about the Reddit and how you said about 4chan. That was a terrible, terrible mistake. This is my fault entirely. I should have chosen my words much more carefully to avoid causing a misunderstanding and implying that I thought the entire server was toxic. I'm sorry. Okay, we have one apology. Yandru Dev told a fan to kill himself. I spoke with Person X yesterday and apologised. However, not for what you, what you might expect. I really hate how entitled he is throughout this whole thing. You didn't apologise for telling them that they you didn't apologize for telling someone that that person would be better off dead you apologized for mistaking them for someone else someone else who upset you right and that's not even important you can read it if you want okay here's his update on buying the current subreddit the one that i'm reading this on right now Recently, the, moderating, the moderation team made some decisions that caused me to feel a great deal of concern. I was so doubtful about the future of the subreddit that I was ready to consider it a lost cause. At the lowest point, I was even willing to outright buy the subreddit to save it from its current management or state my own subreddit. However, since then, I've spoken to the moderation team and I'm willing to give them a chance to prove to me that their decisions will turn out for the best. I won't leave the subreddit or start my own subreddit, and the moderation team and I will try to communicate more so situations like this won't happen again. I won't leave the subreddit or start my own subreddit. Is that not abandonment? Is that not lying to them? Why he left, according to this post, what's been going on, was because this user, Madeline Nolan 1995, a moderator, didn't remove their comment. This comment right here. Now for an actual response. I don't have to really post any evidence while speaking here for once, as the entire Discord wis witnessed what happened last night. Formulate your opinions as you will, but the evidence for both sides is more than easy to find this time. Screenshots were sent from our Discord, from DPG, Palkto, as well as myself. And we allowed people to make up their own minds. We were able to speak freely for the first time since the server's creation. I really enjoyed interacting with the fans here while it lasted. This, this is a quote, by the way. I really enjoyed interacting with the fans here while it lasted. The same fans that were located on the Discord, correct? Why did you, like, come here and not there? Because you had more time to formulate your responses here and edit them while no one was looking? A chat room moves very quickly and there are always witnesses to what you say. Here on the subreddit, things are different. I made some sort of remark about cockroaches, as I recall. I, don't st I didn't state that every single person on this entire server were cockroaches, just a handful of toxic people ruining it, it. Again, that's possible that the confusion was caused by my exact ch choice of words. And they said, there wouldn't be any confusion if you hadn't trash talk children. Also... This is the screenshot. I refuse to be in a server where I have to deal with people who I consider to be closer to cockroaches than human beings. Can't you just ignore the toxicity? Pointing it out isn't going to solve anything when there 
when there ever is toxicity that is okay see that's what i was talking about you know i won't screenshot that and send it but what if i did it would only ruin your reputation you shouldn't be saying things like that even if you think that way you really think that's such a bad thing to say yes some people can feel really offended when they hear it come coming from someone they idolize because the people who were discussing the delay idolize you Wow, well, guess they shouldn't have been so cockroach-like then. Don't want to be called a thief. Don't steal. Don't want your idol to regard you as trash. Don't be trash. They weren't trying to be trash. They were joking around. Don't want someone to abandon a Discord server. Moderate it reasonably. I'm thinking specifically of one individual, really. They were joking about the delay so the mod would lighten- so the mood would lighten up because people were getting sick of waiting. I believe the person Yandri Dev is so upset with um, made a joke about there being a delay um, on Asana and Yandri Dev got really upset about it and then called people cockroaches and then said to someone that he'd rather this kid be dead. Um, So that's really mature, isn't it? All this from a joke. Imagine the following scenario. Okay. You know that I hate these analogies. Um, It's basically the firework thing. Calling the mods of the the subreddit useless, basically, and saying that they're incapable of of handling the subreddit. It's nice to know that you would have spent a lot of money buying a server, which are free to make, just to fire me. I also love when you refer to Kiwis as the KKK and people on the server as rapists. The rest of the server might be good people, but that doesn't change the fact that I'm going to stay the hell away from a place that won't that won't ban extremely obnoxious people. The people in the server know this isn't true. We kick ban anyone, ironically except Dev, who breaks the rules. I have absolutely zero interest in talking to Person X, so I said something along the lines of the world would be a better place if the pers- if Person X was dead. Either way, this was an overreaction, and you know that most of your fanbase are young teens. How would you feel if, at 14, your idol said that the world would be better off without you? That user you are referring to has gotten into spacks with me in the past, and all he did was defend you. Now the world would be better off with him dead. I don't make a habit of trash talking about others, and I don't usually speak that way. Just look at the screenshots in the server, or look them up. Many different websites have them now edit dev trash talking of us we as the mod team stand by our decision i am very proud to say that we specific we specifically plakto stuck to his guns and didn't allow alex to purchase the server slash subreddit and ruin all of the hard work he has done plakto built this community from the ground up he made the subreddit he had faith in the development of yansim and alice just called him incompetent and dumb you realize this guy is incompetent has absolutely no clue what he is doing We don't have any idea what we're doing, but we know that selling to Alex would have destroyed the community. Please look at all the facts before coming to your own conclusion. Hmm. This is just images of Yandri Dev talking. I'm sure you can just pause the video and read it. Um, I guess I'll zoom in so you can see it better. Just pause the video to read it. All right. Honestly, I I don't know what I need to say to to be any more reasonable about this whole thing. I've tried to be reasonable. I've tried to point out Yandri Dev apologising. I've tried to tell people, you know, you can still give this guy a chance, but after seeing this, after reading his recent blog post, um, this is the last person on earth that I would ever want to be associated with. He's horrible he's manipulative he is rude he's disrespectful i have never known someone on the internet to be this bad and you know 
maybe it's because he didn't have a lot of social interactions as a kid maybe it's because of that maybe it's because he was very insecure as a kid and this is the first time he's been really genuinely appreciated by such a large group of people maybe this is why he he doesn't know how to act maybe this is why he's not thinking before he acts because he thinks he's already made it he thinks he doesn't need to be like he does, thinks he doesn't need to act like a decent human being anymore but that's far from the truth that is so far from the truth if anything the more you're in the spotlight the more you need to act like a decent human being Andrew Dev you were so fucking lucky to have 80, 80 plus percent of your followers still somewhat in support of you you are so lucky that you have only lost a thousand dollars from patreon as of now you're so lucky that you've only lost a few subscribers because you're the absolute worst i found yandri simulator the game ages ago i i can't really tell you how long ago um i might have watched pewdiepie play it for a bit but I really can't remember, it's quite a while ago now. Um, but I hadn't subscribed to the channel um, until maybe a year ago-ish. Uh, and you know, one of the first videos that I saw was those Midori, Midori videos that Yandri, that Yandri Dev was making, um, complaining about the amount of emails he's getting from fans, right? And uh, I always thought, why didn't he just ignore the emails instead of getting so frustrated about useless emails? Because I can understand. I, I bet he does get useless emails that he doesn't want. So I understand. I understood his frustration. And I kind of uh, let it just pass. But thinking back to it now, it was kind of very childish. It was a very childish way for him to act. And, you know, that's just one little thing by itself, but with absolutely all the other context added to it, things start changing up a bit. Um, I really didn't expect to have my first videos on this Yandri simulator game to be complaining about the developer, but I guess, I guess this is just how it is. You know, I was expecting to do something like a speed paint or talking about the believability of the backstory, which, in my opinion, I don't believe it's that believable and I suggest alterations to it and improvements. But here we are. After this, I don't think I'll be making um, another video on Yandri Dev. Um, I don't really want to make a fan video on him. Um, talking about his stories or drawing any speed paints or anything like that um frankly i don't think he's worth my time um or i don't think his work is worth my time either i won't be playing yandere simulator whether it comes out or not i'll obviously not be supporting him um in any way it's not my place to apologize but i'm really sorry that the moderators had to deal with his shit really um and it's a shame that they have to deal with the Yandere Simulator fans now as well. Because Yandere Dev is pretty much just threw them under the bus, as, as, as Maddie Nolan said. Because apparently they host Reddits and Discords that's filled with hateful people, which is clearly not. I'm really sorry this video is so long. I really didn't want it to be so long and it could have been way longer. They really could have been, but I, I don't want to stretch this out anymore, and I'll just say it now. Um, thanks for watching this video. Thanks for the new subs, but I'm not, I'm not making any videos on this guy. There's nothing more I can say. He, he's not a good person. Okay. And. Um, I don't think he's going to be anytime soon.